Calgary Southeast. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Like a shackled and starving foster child locked in a filthy closet for years, the legal aid program is a neglected and degraded shadow of its true potential and is robbing poor and disadvantaged Albertans of their future. That's what the president of the Criminal Defence Lawyers Association, Ian Savage, had to say about the current state of legal aid. He said the government knows how to fix the issue but would rather direct their resources elsewhere. To the Minister of Justice, how is this anything other than a complete failure of your responsibility to provide legal aid to vulnerable Albertans? Premier. Mr. Speaker, when uh, our government took office uh, from the government that that member opposite uh, was a member of, uh, Alberta had the lowest per capita funding for legal aid anywhere in the country. And there was a crisis, a profound level of crisis in legal aid. Since that time, in the face of the significant fiscal pressures that our government inherited from the previous government, we have increased legal aid funding by 40 per cent, Mr. Speaker. That is significant because we know access to justice is fundamentally important. First supplementary. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Savage also said the organization would stop their volunteer services until this government got their act together. Specifically, he referred to the government's most recent budget as a complete slap in the face. I asked the minister in estimates what her rationale was for not increasing the legal aid budget from their spending forecast from the previous year. To the same minister, now that you've driven defence lawyers to essentially quitting over lack of funding, perhaps you'd like to try again to justify holding your funding flat. The Honourable Minister. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Uh, it is absolutely the case that when we inherited uh, this situation from the former government, of which that member was a member, uh, that we thought that legal aid was underfunded. That's why we have increased the funding to legal aid over the course of our tenure by 38 percent, Mr. Speaker. 38. That is a larger increase than anything else in my budget has received, Mr. Speaker, and it's certainly much better than members opposite uh, would have done in the same situation. Here, here. Second supplemental. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. In response to Mr. Savage's concerns, and again, the concerns are so great that it caused the defence lawyers to withdraw their volunteer services from legal aid. The minister said, they've been doing quite a good job, and obviously we've been able to increase their funding such that they're able to keep up with the workload. Minister, there's clearly a complete disconnect between what you and the lawyers delivering these services are talking about. To the same minister, are you ignoring the problem, concealing the problem, are you, or are you suggesting that these volunteers are liars? The Honourable Minister of Justice. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. If anyone had ignored this problem, it was the former government of which that member was a member. That's why we have increased funding to legal aid by 38 per cent. Mr. Speaker, that is a larger increase than any other area uh, in my budget has seen. We certainly hope that when the time comes, the member opposite uh, will continue to support that. Mr. Speaker, we will continue to work with legal aid to ensure that they have adequate funding, as do all areas of the justice system. Here, here. 